we have Lyndall Stone, the backup quarterback in, but we also could see some Wildcat-type packages for the Cavaliers. Cavaliers put it away. Donovan Green, there'll be no return, and we get a look at the Deacons. Wake Forest will start first and 10 off its 25, and Sam Hartman directs the offense for Dave Clawson. It'll be interesting to see how the Cavaliers attack it. Quick snap and Hartman to throw first time today. Underneath, that's the tight end. And that's Brandon Chapman for a first down shy of the 38. Stout in the middle, trying to loosen them up a bit. Measure him short, so second and two. And Beal Smith trying to find something on the right side. And Virginia meets it. Joey Blunt back in the lineup today, wearing number 29 for the Cavaliers. Hartman. And Beal Smith bounces to the outside. Looking for a perimeter block and got one deep into Virginia territory to the Cavalier 20 and now flag is thrown on the play after the tackle by Charles Snowden. Kenneth Walker has spelled Christian Beal Smith for Wake Forest. Hartman now hurries a throw looking downfield and caught Perry touchdown Wake Forest. Sam Hartman bought himself some time against pressure. And then he looped it right over the top of Joey Blunt for A.T. Perry's touchdown catch. Eric with the 40-yard touchdown throw. The Cavaliers run a cornerback pressure off the boundary side to the side that A.T. Perry was lined up on. Oftentimes, a quarterback will throw a quick... Wake Forest in Virginia against FCS of FBS opponents has been outscored 62 to 14. And right away... The Deacons front is rallying from his teammates. Third down for the Cavaliers. Seven to the first down. Jana couldn't hang on against the coverage of Jasir Taylor. Not pleased with the intensity that they brought last week. Here is Nash Griffin to punt it away. The left-footed senior. And a fair catch is called for and made by Taylor Moore. We get a timeout in Winston-Salem. Eagles and Hokies have for us on what's been the busiest day of ACC football this fall. There's Hartman delay on the mess. Now going to take another deep shot. Caught in stride and tackled inside the five is Roberson. <laughs> Kenneth Walker gets into the Wildcat with Christian Beal Smith. Walker bounces it right side. Touchdown Wake Forest. The Deacons have snapped it eight times in two possessions and have two touchdowns. Come out and thrown two haymakers on the Cavaliers. Yeah, that's now 48 to nothing. The Cavaliers have been outscored in the four, first quarter this season. And Bronco Mendenhall said... It's a Wildcat snap, and this is Keaton Thompson, the Mississippi State transfer. And he will pick up the first down to the 42-yard line. And everything that delayed kind of college football, Thompson was competing at quarterback, went through a shoulder injury. Here's a throw, and this is Tavares Kelly. This is likely four down territory for Bronco Mendenhall, so he'd likely see them run it twice. That's Kemp in motion, and Thompson trying to keep it. Looking for room, now bounces back here to the near side. First down and more. Thompson set sail on a first down. On that play, Lyndall Stone went out of the game, so you actually pick up an extra blocker when you have Keaton Thompson at quarterback. Something that's going to be tough on this Wake Forest defense is that Keaton, this secondary has got, they were missing eight defensive backs to start the year against NC State. Here is Stone, middle of the field, slings it behind his former Woodbury Forest teammate Terrell Chana incomplete. Griffin holds, kick is away. And it's 16 straight now for Brian Delaney. Amos played a lot for Blunt last week. He's in there to fill his spot now. And Hartman trying to avoid the pressure. Cannot get away from Jawan Briggs. So here is Hartman now. And Wake third and long. And Beal Smith trying to sneak. But Charles Snowden's got him from behind. And will bring him down shy of the 25. And the Deacons will punt for the first time today. His longest of the year, 59, in the opener against Clemson. Snap and a tight spiral toward Billy Kemp, who is taken down immediately. Great coverage by Wake Forest. Keyshawn Williams. Switch Stone to the perimeter. Put Keaton Thompson in the quarterback spot, and he'll hand to Tavares Kelly, who gets rolled back by Travion Red. Virginia one for three on third down. 
Stone sips it for Jana. First down for the Cavaliers. Terrell Jana to the 41. Thompson had such a good night on opening night. Here's Stone. Kemp back in the ball game makes the catch. First down. Here is Thompson or Armstead. Trying to slip to the perimeter and does out of the tackle of Smenda and Ira Armstead inside the 25. To the Wake Forest 22 yard line goes South Bend, Indiana's Ira Armstead. The, uh, Wake Forest defensive coordinator was so concerned about making sure his troops knew where all the numbers were. This is Thompson and Keaton Thompson spins to the 10 and he'll be pushed back there. Nick Anderson was the first gold hat to get to him for Wake Forest, and I think we're headed to a first and goal situation. Final minute of this first period. As I mentioned, when you get Keaton Thompson, you're going to get more Wildcat principles as you see the motion. Snap, and this is Armstead. And Ira Armstead around the corner, inside the pylon, and the touchdown for Virginia. So the 6'3 freshman, Armstead scores. Years and here they go again, these Cavaliers and Deacons. Yeah, and as we get to see the replay there, imperative that the defenders stay in their gaps, and they did just that. Hartman wants the throw, got hit as he did, and it's caught. Taylor Morin, a great catch in Cavalier territory at the 42. Second and a short six for Wake Forest. Here's Hartman, wants to make another quick throw. That's Donovan Green's first catch. Four-point lead for the Deacons. Quick snap, here's Hartman. And the throw is over the head of Gruel. Fourth down, the Deacons going for it. Hartman going to tee up another one, and what a catch, Green! Donovan Green just muscles position against Devontae Cross. It's first and goal, Wake Forest. On the outside, Donovan Green simply just wins a one-on-one -on -one matchup on the outside. Again for Green and Cross broke it up. Kick is away by Skiba and inside the right uprights for the three points. <laughs> we got our gunslinger back. Paris Jones in the ball game and here's a little bubble screen for Billy Kemp and he will get the first down beyond the 37 to the 38 before he returns the punt and they're on a bubble screen fighting for yards. I love this kid. Yep. See why the Cavaliers like him. Here's Lindell Stone taking a deep shot backside. First time he's looked for the rookie Lavelle Davis. And we get a marker on the play. Tackles by the receivers. Yeah. What are we doing here? Armstead going to take the shot and overthrows Tavares Kelly. Here is Thompson back now. And Keaton Thompson will convert. The fourth and two with Taylor making the stop. Here is Talapapa this time from Thompson. And just a simple replay there. And look at Wayne Talapapa drive inside the 20. And second, third, and maybe fourth effort gets him to the 16-yard line, Jerry. Talapapa's got an incredible leg drive, incredible strength. When he was back during the quarantine, he was back in Hawaii running in the sand. They get in one of their wildcap sets, which he'd been so successful on third downs. His other quarterback partners on the field. Here's Stone, back foot throw, misses Talapapa out of the backfield. So fourth down it'll be. And Delaney's kick muscles through. A low line shot. Roberson in motion. Here's Hartman. Quick throw. Roberson the catch. First down. Snowden pulls him down at the 42 of Wake Forest. In terms of where the landscape is right now. Absolutely. Wake, he's Wake he's Forest, projected a first round draft pick. they got to be excited about where they're going receiver wise. And here's Roberson. Another big catch. In front of Brent Nelson. And Wake ends up one on one in the secondary. And then you have Donovan Green, a freshman. You have so much youth out there at the receiver position for Wake Forest to be excited about. Now they're trying to get Beal Smith to the edge. And inside the 10 to the 9 goes the Winston-Salem native, Christian Beal Smith. Virginia hadn't been able to get closer than four. 
Here is Hartman with time to the end zone, just beyond the reach of Ja'Cory Roberson. Kick is good by Skiba. So just ahead of five minutes to go now. Deep to receive with Tavares Kelly now for Virginia. We'll see the details on total offense. And Kelly here on the near side at the four. Tavares Kelly, 25-30, and pulled down at the 35-yard line. Second and short after the catch by Kemp. Here's Armstead in a quarterback, and he'll have the first down on the keep. And he rolled up on the back of Lavelle Davis. Stone back at the trigger now. He's got Pole Jan is tight end to the bottom of the screen. A bunch look to the right. Lendl looking and overthrows Simpson, and now we got a flag thrown in. And Sometimes it's the running back reading out of his play fake because of pressure. Stone. Fires it across the way, and it's Jana. First and 10 at the Wake Forest 14. Under three we go now in this first half. Six fours come in to handle the QB spot. Thompson tried to run with it, and a pack of black shirts. Suleiman Kamara and Boogie Basham there for Wake Forest. He's had one in 21 straight games. Talapapa sneaking to the backside of the play and Wayne Talapapa into the end zone for the Cavaliers. 14 yard run with 149 to play first half. Wayne Talapapa running to the left side of the defense where there's nobody out there. There's nobody outside anymore. It's a little subtlety, but that's another great adjustment and another great. Marco Mendenhall specifically mentioned they need more big plays out of this, these guys, and this is exactly when they need them. Hartman against a five-man press going to take the shot downfield and incomplete looking for A.T. Perry so more of a punt and Billy Kemp deep Kemp is going to signal for a fair catch and will make it just inside the 30 Virginia's 29-yard line with 48 seconds left in two timeouts you don't know if they're just looking to see if they can't get this thing to the house knowing they get the second half kickoff too Here's Stone, quick throw, pull Jan's first catch. And now a Bronco Mendenhall timeout with 19 seconds left. Keith in the middle of the field. Seeing that there, it looked like he got him on the shoulder. And now I know the referees are, are taught to, you know, throw it so we can get to a review if we need to. But to me, this looked like he got him with the shoulder. Right. Stone has Kemp to the bottom, Davis and Janet to the top, and Lindell is going to heave it deep, and it's intercepted. The ball is picked off in the end zone. That was because of the penalties, and Jerry mentioned that Dave Clawson brought it up. He was not happy with them shooting themselves in their foot. Stone buying time, and Kemp caught it out of bounds, and a flag is thrown. Basham lining up over the right guard. There's the throw. They get it to Simpson on the screen. And Basham downfield to make the tackle. Your way back to the goal line. If you were able to get the defense to jump, you pick up five yards. Hartman looking for the throw. Going to take the deep shot. Donovan Green in stride to the 40-yard line. Nick Grant in coverage, but boy, Donovan Green's going to be really good. He's not bad right now. Look at this protection by the offensive line. That is so much protection. That is exactly what Bronco Mendenhall has been so upset with this year to get home more. Hartman sack. Ball is loose, and it goes out of bounds back at the 24 on the hit by Noah Taylor. Keep the football to be third and 26. Yeah, Noah Taylor comes completely unblocked off the left side of Wake Forest um, offense and caught Sam Hartman completely off guard. Hartman to throw. Back across the middle, intercepted. Antonio Clary. Just completely fooled. Got up, held the ball off. Punt away. And a good punt toward Kemp. Back inside the 25. And Beal Smith and Smenda angle him out of bounds. 
Third and four. Quick throw and pole jam. The intended receiver, Nick Anderson, broke it up. Anderson, good to see him back on the field after leaving the field injured in the first half. Nash Griffin to punt. Tyler Morin stands at the 15. For Griffin now just pinned Wake a moment ago. Here's another good looking punt. Morin at the nine. Tries to reset to the 15. And a good second and third effort will carry him close to the 20 yard line. And Hartman and the Deacons now trying to get third down figured out. One of seven today. Sam in trouble, cannot find an alley, and will go down under the pressure of Jawan Briggs. Briggs inside, doesn't he? Yeah, it does, and, and he singled up inside here against the center, and really, he just outworks him and just keeps working, and what you have that... Virginia's been able to hem in their run game, though, Eric. They have. Watch Grant Mish, number 85 right here. There's the give. Talapapa fires through. The third of the three quarterbacks that we saw earlier today, and this is Shane Simpson into the Wake secondary. And down to the Deacon 27 goes Simpson as Virginia now plays for its first lead of the day as we come up on seven minutes to go in the third period. The read option coming at you. Sometimes just a simple handoff like this can expose the defense more than anything. Yep. Matched up one on one. We'll see if the safety comes that way. If not, he might get targeted. Here's Stone. And the catch is made. Terrell Jana inbounds. It's rule to catch at the 17, and that's enough for the first down. Right on the number. Think it, if you're under three, I don't think you get one. Here is Tavares Kelly on that little shovel pass sweep, if you will. And Zion Keith stayed with it for Wake Forest in the star city of Roanoke. To the end zone. Stone looking for Jenna and Nick Anderson. What a fine play by the true freshman. And Delaney misses it. Terrell Jenna. Here's Hartman. First down catch. Blake Whitehart, the tight end. Just the second catch of the year for Whitehart. In a couple of tries at Tulane and in his tenure at Chapel Hill the first time. He'll get a crack at it tonight over on ABC. Nick Jackson, the first guy to get to Christian Beal Smith on the second down place. Two procedures and now a hold for the right guard. Hartman trying to reload again. Now points out, going to take off and run with it. Got a block on the edge! And across midfield, first down Wake Forest. Facing receivers around the field, they bring Zane Zandier on a blitz there. As soon as Sam Hartman escapes the pocket, nothing but green grass in front of him. Virginia's defense does an awesome job there. 225 to go in the third. Hartman rips it inside. Catch is made. That's A.T. Perry, who caught the first touchdown of the day on a 40-yard throw. Converts the play there to a first down at the Virginia 35. Is he? Excellent inside linebackers in Zane Zandier and Nick Jackson. Here's Walker again, picking and choosing, and will fight for the first down to the 21-yard line. Second down play. Walker trying to get to the edge. And boy, Virginia been very stingy on the perimeter. Physically changed his body, and now, in just his first year as a full-time starter, leads the ACC in tackles. Here's Hartman, quick throw, trying to go inside to Roberson, and it got... Broken up by Darius Bratton. <laughs> Kick is away, and Nick Skiba runs it through, and Wake Forest in front. Team plays 60 yards on the drive. Skiba gets the field goal. And end over end kick here, and there will be a return. This is Tavares Kelly off the goal line, looking for the far sideline. Kelly. And he'll be tracked down and a flag thrown in after the stop was made at the 34 yard line. Keep an eye on uh, 18 here. You probably didn't need all that, did you? Up to 11 penalties on the day. They only average 
three a game. It's cost them 104 yards of penalty yards. Yep. Pole Jan on the first down throw. The likely second to last play of this first half. And the Cavaliers, first and ten from Wakes 38. And Lindell Stone shoots it to the far side. And Billy Kemp the catch. And he's brought down at the 22-yard line. If anyone feels blessed to be back on this field, it is that young man. 6'10", 325 out of Windermere Prep in the Orlando area. Keep Keaton Thompson now running the quarterback spot. We got a flag and extra shoving and pushing going on. Chase Monroe for Wake Forest in the mix with a couple of Cavaliers. Thank goodness the Reds were eliminated. Oh, here's, here's a third down for Stone. Lindell trying to make some money and it's caught. Incomplete is the catch on Billy Kemp. Was he out of bounds or did it hit the turf? 43-yard try to tie the game is good. Not run it where it's not a good look. Take the shots down the field. Kenneth Walker trying to get to the perimeter and does. Walker off to the races. And Kenneth Walker is going to go 75 to the house. They don't stay in their gaps. Kenneth Walker makes them pay. And as you see this un uh, develop here uh, on the back side, they just over pursue just a touch. And when you have the speed that Walker has, he can make you. Cavaliers look like they're bringing the pressure. Hartman to throw. Cuts it loose. Caught. Roberson. First and goal. Wake Forest inside the 10. They got both tight ends in the package. Whitehart's in the backfield. Walker in the Wildcat. Walker scoops at the five. Falls into the end zone. Forrest has taken a tie game and blown it open. Two touchdown lead for the Deacons when we return to Winston-Salem. Stone around in the pocket and tackled behind the line by Carlos Boogie Basham. Third and almost the full ten. Stone from the gun. Long throw out of bounds for Davis. By the way, Lavelle Davis almost flagged that down. A kind of a jump pass from Nash Griffin. And Griffin will punt this toward Moore. And that's where Wake Forest will start. Obviously, he's learned a lot in a year and now has that incredible streak continuing. Yep, sure does. And he shows you a lot of things, even in a ball game like today, where we're not calling his name behind the line. There's a third down incomplete pass. Even further makes him a surefire pick in the first round. Mora airs one out for Billy Kemp here. Back near the 10, and Kemp got by the first guy. And he'll get about 12 on the return before Travion Red runs him out of bounds. Here he's lined up over the right guard. Got to get to the 32. Stone launches it and intercepted. Kalen Carson, what a catch! Thrown into the mix, down eight DBs at one point this season. The pressure is applied by Travion Red that causes the high throw in an amazing second and nine. Walker trying to bounce it to the perimeter. Virginia now. Kind of building that fence with white jerseys as they go to the bound or the wide side. Mandy Alonzo for Wake Forest here in half two. Hartman shoots it back here to the near side, and it is just short of the first down. Murphy will hold. Jacob Zur snaps it. Kick is away, and Skiba buries it. It is an amazing story and an inspiring story. And here is the run for Talapapa right at 10 yards, setting a sparkling example of sacrifice for his football team. Stone the throw, middle of the field, and Jana the catch will break the 50-yard line into Wake territory. And then pass the memorial of enslaved laborers to the rotunda. I got to do it. It was a powerful experience for me and a great thing these young men are doing. Stone. 
will slide and they measure it to the 37 yard line. And he decided, well, I'll honor them by not having my name on my jersey. Stone on the crossing route, Talapapa. And he will run out of bounds and took an extra nudge from uh, Zion Keith, and that'll buy 15 for Virginia with the clock stopped under four to go. To see him take a shot up top to Davis, though. Yeah. It's been almost run, and here is Ira Armstead. Nope. Bales in the pocket. Lost his foot and got back, and whoa! That looked like Trey Rucker. 15th in the ACC at 31%. Stone, wide side throw beyond the reach of Shane Simpson. Jam the tight end to the left here, Eric. Stone looking for his big tight end. Bounced in the air and incomplete. No flags on the play. Taylor, the veteran, makes the play. Trailing in the run game by well over 100 yards into the second half. And then all of a sudden, Walker, the big 75-yard run. A turnover gave him another short feet. Tell you what, Sam Hartman's going to get his fourth career 300-yard passing game. And Walker's just going to run the clock out, and he does. And Dave Clawson and Wake Forest go to one and two in ACC play.